Main event was MJF and Chris Jericho, the fifth labor. And, of course, Jericho could not have his music, so the fans did, in fact, sing him to the ring. And, that was uh, actually it took him a Yeah, it took him a little while to get started, because I think they were all trying to figure out where to start. But then they they finally figured it out, and once they all figured it out, it was like a fantastic entrance. It and was awesome. Jericho's just... He's I mean, listening to them singing his song, and he's so happy, and it was a great moment. I mean, everyone knew that this was going to happen, okay? I mean, it's like that. It, it was designed to happen. It wasn't like it was spontaneous. They spent the whole week freaking building up the idea that um, everyone was going to sing it, you know, because uh, MJF didn't want him to sing it. Having said that, it was even more impressive because it was like, I mean, have, have you seen the, the non-TV footage of it? No. Okay, the non-TV footage is even more impressive than the TV footage because um, it was, like on TV, you know, it's like it's the, the sound is muffled as compared to, you know, like if you're in the crowd itself. So I saw, like, footage from the crowd itself. It was loud. I mean, there's a few spots in the song where the people kind of got lost a little bit, but only a few. And it was it was so loud, and it was so. I mean, in the building, it had to be in, an incredible moment, and um, yeah, one of the more actually one of the more memorable ring entrances that uh, there's been. So we had a very simple story here, and that is that Jericho cannot use the Judas effect, and Jericho has a bad arm because MGF threw him off the top of his cell. So basically, MGF goes to work on his arm. And they go back and forth with a bunch of submissions, including Jericho obviously trying to hit the walls. And then finally, at the end, MGF goes to put on the ring. And, of course, he turns around, and there's the referee. And Aubrey grabs the ring, and she's getting it out of the ring. And as she gets it out of the ring, Jericho hits him with the bat. And MGF goes down, and he starts to struggle to his feet, and... Jericho starts to spin for the Judas effect, and all of a sudden he stops, because he realizes if I hit this move... I lose this match. And so he pauses, and he, he just freezes because he can't use the move. And as soon as he freezes, he gets hit with a Judas effect from MJF. And MJF immediately puts him in the salt of the earth, working over the arm. He'd already torn the brace and the cast off and everything, so it's a, it's a bare arm. Jericho tries one cradle. MJF pops back into the salt of the earth. Jericho's struggling and struggling, and finally he taps out to MJF. I don't think anyone MJF, ex- I don't think anyone expected well, I didn't expect I, this. I could tell yeah, you that. Yeah. I I thought that, you know, the idea of Jericho winning four and then losing the last one, I I thought that was very possible, especially because they protect MJF so much, but I did not expect like I did not expect a submission finish by any means, like a a ring shot, yeah, but a submission finish, you know, kind of the way it was. It wasn't until like about the split second before he tapped that I thought, oh my God, he's really going to tap here because, you know, it was the second time, right? You know, the first time I, you know, and it's funny because I don't think the crowd, because there were a couple times when, when MJF would get like really good near falls with big moves and the people like they, they were super hot for this match, but they were not buying the idea that, that MJF could win until he won. You know, I, th- I think at the very end, they probably were buying it, but, but like, for the first like eight or ten minutes or whatever, when MJF would get near falls, it was like, "There's no way this guy's winning the match," but he did. So um, I'm intrigued where it's going next. Um, you know, what are they going to do for pay per view? What are they going to do for the pay per view? Do they do a follow up on the pay per view? I don't know. Um, it's uh, it's it's interesting, um, but uh, MJF, you know, I mean with. With that record, he should be um he's another one who should be in there with those with those new guys and in big ma he should be in some big matches. A lot of these guys should be in a there really should be a lot of big matches in the uh ne- you know, next couple next two, three, four months. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.